Hello guys, um, welcome to the second part of this Ajax pagination tutorial and in this um, video we're going to be having a look at how to set up the HTML that we'll be using in our um, pagination. Alright, so first of all, I will um, advise you to go ahead and get yourself some jQuery. So um, if you've watched my previous tutorials, you'll probably have known how to do that or if you don't, just go to the jQuery website and they have pretty good um, instructions how to do that. And also get some underscores um, JS script. Um, look at my JavaScript templating tutorial series. You'll I've shown there how to get the underscores um, script there as well. It's a very useful library that helps you with um, neat stuff like templating and um, array, you know, manipulation, right? And next, go ahead and create an empty JavaScript file in your um, project folder. So. All of the JavaScript, I have them inside a folder called JS, as you can see where my mouse is here. Um, so I have a custom.js inside of that folder, a jQuery.js, which is latest jQuery version 1.9, and underscore.js as well. All right, And include them in your HTML, as I am doing here, first jQuery, then underscore, then custom.js, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and actually write the framework for how our HTML will look like, right? So if you notice, like if you're doing pagination, you basically have a main container. So we'll have one main container called posts. So we'll be paginating a bunch of posts. And for now, because we're doing Ajax, we'll be getting the data dynamically. So the post um, div will be empty for now. So when the page loads, the first set of data will be fetched from the Ajax page, all right? Okay, so next, let's write uh, another um, element here, a p tag, which will um, have a class of loading. So inside of there, we'll have some text that just says loading. So basically, when you click on, if you remember the, in the introduction, when I showed you when the links are being clicked, this gets flashed. This, this text here gets shown, and then when the data comes in, it gets hidden. So basically, that's just telling the user that you're waiting for data, that something is happening. So it's always good to give the user some feedback while you're waiting for something to happen, okay? All right, so that will start out as being hidden. So when the page, when the user clicks, and then it shows, and when data comes in, and then it hides, all right? So next, we'll write the container where the um, pagination links are going to be in. And as usual as, usual as well, that will have a, a class of page links. And we'll just have one ul tag in there and then the li tags will be generated dynamically based on how many elements um, are inside our query all right so next we're going to write our script which will hold the template for our um, dynamically returned data here so whatever will be populated inside this area here it will be generated using the template that we're going to be setting up soon. All right. So if you remember from my JavaScript templating tutorial, um, scripts, you give them a type of template scripts, I mean, sorry. <laughs> you give them a type of text slash template. And then you give them an ID so you can target them. And the ID we're going to give is post template. All right. And inside of there, we're going to open an underscore opening and closing brackets and percentage sign. So we're going to say underscore dot each. And what are we going to loop over? We're going to loop over a bunch of posts. And then we give it a function to execute. Sorry. And then we'll open that. Then at the end of the script here, just we're going to be writing what will be in between in a moment. So on each loop, run that function so you notice we open the function here so let's close it down here put a semicolon all right so for each iteration of the post what do we want to output let's write actually the HTML that we want to show here so we'll have a div opening and closing in div let's clean this up a little bit and then inside of the div we'll have an h2 so this div that I'm writing here right now represents one post. So when we pass a list of posts, it will create all the posts string and then we'll append that over here. That's the plan that we have, okay? All right, so h2, inside of the h2, for each post, we're going to get the post title. And um, if you remember, that's a angle bracket, 
percentage sign and equal to and as well guys if you don't if you can't follow this templating part just go ahead and quickly watch my um, javascript templating tutorial and you'll be able to follow that's the reason i actually did that because as i said there uh, it's very important to know how to do templating in javascript because of these situations right and then each post also will have to display the contents of the post and how we do that is we say as well left angle bracket and percentage sign equal to so post dot um, content post content I'll explain in a moment what these variables mean title and post content all right and we don't need this as well so this function actually should expect one argument so basically what's happening here for each post run this function and then this function um, creates a single post so when it runs many times it will create many posts and then return that to our javascript okay all right so this is the framework for our html and how it should behave so in the next video i'll explain what these variables mean post title and post contents and we'll look at how to set up our ajax.php as you can see probably some of you have noticed i have ajax.php here but i didn't mention anything about it because this video i didn't want it to be that long so in the next video we'll look at how to set up our ajax page and how it should return data and print out data for us for this page to call into all right so that's it guys this is lamin sani of elsewhat and thanks for watching this tutorial video hope to see you in the next video all right bye bye